Yo, what's happening guys? Welcome back to another van conversion video. Today we're going to be checking out the roof rack mounted awning that I just got up this weekend. I'll uh, show you how I did it. Uh, it didn't come with mounting brackets like I had expected it to. And so uh, we had to make our own custom ones. But uh, yeah, anyways, and I'll show you how this thing works because aside from it not coming with the mounting kit, it is a super nice awning setup and super easy to put out. And uh, that's why I went with it because I'm short, I can't get up there to get things and I don't want to have to carry a ladder with me all the time because that would just be something taking up a lot of space and I don't need something taking up that much space. So uh, yeah, let's get right into it. I'm going to show you how it's mounted and then we'll go ahead and get into opening this thing up. Check it out. The Thule awning has been installed. We got that Swedish technology up here. So notice those uh, mounting brackets. I'll uh, go up there and show you a little better if I can. But there's three of them. There's one at the front there, one sort of at the back middle-ish, and then one all the way at the back. Really, I think all you'd need is like two. So at the back here, it's got this slide rail. There's a few different ways you can mount it, um, but we had to get square bolts. I don't know if I can show you them in there, but square bolts that fit into that slide rail and then uh, I put a lock washer and a nylon locking nut on there, make it extra secure. But yeah, that's that's the back of it. On the front, we had to drill a couple holes here to bolt it there. But um, you can see this one, what we did. We went right to that, uh, we used the same bolts and mounted it right to the bracket that holds the, the roof rack up actually. So that worked out pretty well. Just had to drill the holes for this one back here. Yeah, and the front one is the same as this one, going right to that uh, roof rack mounting bracket. But it came out pretty nice. I think it looks pretty good on here. Now, the moment you've all been waiting for, let's get this thing opened up. So I went with this awning for the simple fact of how easy it is to take it out. You've got that keyhole up there. And you've got this that sticks into that keyhole. Now, see, I put some washers on there because uh, another guy I watched do it, he said when you're putting this up there at an angle, sometimes it'll get stuck. So it's good to have that little bit of space in there. Um, I'm not sure, I just went like that just to make sure. Yeah, I just did it this way just to be sure that I'm not gonna end up getting this thing stuck in there. But it's super nice because check it out. It extends pretty long. just like so and then it's got this part so you can crank it real easy now let's go ahead and get this thing un unfolded so you can see what it's like yeah it's, it's literally this simple stick that in there and roll it out and see I really like this one and I went with this one because I'm short for me to have to get up there and like actually try and unload an awning would be a major pain in the ass. And by the way, this was a little expensive. It was like 1100 bucks. Um, and I was kind of disappointed that it didn't come with the mounting brackets. It gives you options to select for an RV or for a roof rack, but then it just doesn't send any mounting hardware, which was kind of disappointing, especially for that price. But it is a super nice one. And so now around the back here, um, and like I was saying, that's why I went with this one because it's I can get it out here low enough to where I can get these legs and then the leg just folds out. Yeah, you can see how this leg just folds all the way out, like so. I have not, I have not seen that before. Somehow it, uh, it came out of there. That didn't happen the other day when I was uh, putting it out. Okay, there we go. And this one, same thing. Yeah, I don't. I don't know why that one just came out too. I don't know why it's doing that. So you see, there's this little uh, like wing nut thing here. Undo that, and then the uh, the leg will extend. And you can actually put it at different heights for this van because it's tall. I like to go all the way up. And then you just tighten this back up. And that's your leg extended. And you can put it out or in however you want it. It's got a good flat base to it. And uh, you can actually also even stake it down. Swedish technology, I think PewDiePie might've even made this one himself. But 
So now that we've got those legs extended out like this, you can see how it's coming along here. You can kick those legs to like whatever angle you want, whatever you think is gonna make it more sturdy. But now that those legs are out, I'm gonna come around. And with my fancy stick, I'm gonna finish extending it. Yeah, literally, there it is, that simple. So there it is, the Thule awning, how you open it up and everything. Uh, super simple, like I said, it's a really good one. Expensive, 1100 bucks, and it didn't come with the mounting kits. They have kits for like mounting it flat to the side of an RV. They want you mounting it to their own roof rack, which I don't have their own roof rack, and so that's why we had to make our own brackets, drill press out all the holes, and um, cut, actually cut steel. It's nice thick steel that I used up there, but otherwise I'm super happy with this thing, and like I said, I went with it purposely because it's easy to unload to roll it out like that i'm short so it makes it so much easier for me i would never be able to get up there and you know do a regular awning and i would have to carry a ladder with me and it's just another thing that i don't really need to take up space in the van because it's it's such, such a limited space you know but uh anyways thanks for watching hopefully you enjoyed if you did hit that like button down below subscribe to the channel turn on the notifications so you don't miss out on any of the future videos all of that good stuff check out my other channels if that's something that would interest you jake reacts jake games all the good stuff going on there but uh anyways guys thanks again for watching hopefully we'll see you in the next one peace